Hi, welcome to another spotlight on Grandstream Wave features. In this video, we'll guide you through the setup process for the WhatsApp business add-in. Begin by entering the required information in the name field, and then retrieve the access token and phone number ID from the Meta for Developers platform on Facebook. Begin by logging into the Meta for Developers platform on Facebook. Navigate to My Apps, click on Create App, select Other, and then proceed with Next. Choose Business in the subsequent step and click Next again. Fill in the Add and App Name field, create the app, and continue to the next steps. Start using the API where you'll be prompted to configure a phone number. Note that it cannot be your WhatsApp account. Copy the phone number ID and paste it into the corresponding field in the add-in. Optionally, for enhanced security, you can copy the app secret to the client secret field in the add-in. To obtain the access token, navigate to the app dashboard and proceed to business settings. Under System Users, create a new system user by selecting Create System User. Add Assets. Then include the management function for this app. By going to Apps and selecting the relevant option, save your changes. Generate a new token and choose the app you just created. Specify the token's expiration, either 60 days or never. Check both WhatsApp business messaging and WhatsApp business management options and click Generate Token. Finally, copy the newly generated token and paste it into the Access Token field on the Add in Configuration page. Next, copy the webhook URL from the Add in Configuration page. Head to the Meta for Developers platform on Facebook, navigate to WhatsApp, and click on Configuration. Select Edit. Then paste the webhook URL into the callback URL field. You can enter any value in the Verify Token field. Click Verify and Save. Proceed to Manage. Check the Subscribe box for the webhook field labeled Messages and click Done. Now you can go to the Add in Configuration to click the Submit button to finish configuration. Once configured, you have the option to share your phone number with customers. Messages sent to this number will be received by your Wave client. Additionally, you can generate a QR code by navigating to the app dashboard, selecting WhatsApp Manager and accessing phone numbers. Here, you'll find your number and the QR code for easy sharing with customers. When a message is received from your WhatsApp contact, you can view and respond to it directly within the Wave desktop application. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.